Well, morning guys. It's 10.40 in the morning on a Monday, the 16th of September, 2024. The zombie weaver, John C. Robeson, California is here. Yeah. I haven't been keeping track of the politics as much, but I should have. But one particular gentleman, I'm getting a letter loaded so I can transfer to another computer at this point. I wanted to uh, send him a contact. And I wanted him to, uh, I wanted him to know something. I mean, I'll, I'll tag this up if I can, this video. A long time ago, I'd been some of those people he was talking about. And I was a gamer a long time ago. I'm going to put a uh, public for the letter. There was nothing wrong with it. And I had to. So, what I'm doing right now is just popping some stuff in my uh, channel and getting it loaded up even as we speak. Shout out to Artist in Recovery and Buckwig out there. Shout out to the Reverend Ed Trevors. Yeah, guys, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Still kicking. Just worried more about my dog. When caregiving for a dog, I'm discovering more and more things. Maybe different or similar to taking care of an elderly person in your life. And unfortunately, Ronnie, come here. Oh, come here. Hey, 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 hey. I need you to come here. I need you to come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Blind, deaf, but still trying to fight for life. I love you too. She does that a lot, yawning. I read somewhere that even yawning is a way of a derming of affection. Well, I should love this dog. I've had her for almost a couple of decades now. She's that old. Yeah, she's that fussy. I had a grandmother at one time, that fussy. It looks like the Speedway is still up and operational again. Welcome to Roseman Boulevard. These people don't know what speed limits are. I had an elderly grandmother my mother used to take care of. And uh, growing up with my grandmother in that kind of situation, it was just <laughs> challenging to say the least for a teenager to deal with life on life's terms. And then I got to deal with family issues regarding a grandmother who was stroke bound and bedridden because of it. But uh, she was my grandmother, and I loved her. My mother hasn't been stroked yet. I mean, has been stricken by it. Maybe a bit of touch of dementia, I think. But she's blind. She's deaf. She knows by smell and by instinct where she's at. And she's just checking things out right now. She looks forward to the times I'm actually holding her up like crazy. Uh, she'll be put down because my arms will get tired. I had to take classes for this semester online because I was afraid that she was she was going on the final ride to the vet. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. She's still got life, but I know every day is a blessing with her anyway right now. So I am not taking any chances with that. I'm just trying to get as much time as I can sometimes. There have been times when she was a lot younger, she'd be running around and leaping on anything and everything. 
As she got older, she discovered she can't do that anymore. I mean, she could try dropping drop on, just running around here and running around all over the place in the apartment. But, uh, during the evening time when she's got that pent-up energy, she'll do that. Last night, she didn't have it as much. Oh, no. Oh, no. She kept me up half the night. Most nights she'll do that, especially if she's nervous and wanting more attention and more comfort. If I wanted for her to sleep and I'm, my body and my brain are demanding me to sleep, I have to override that and just keep an eye on her until she lays down and sleeps. And then I could try falling down, laying down on my bed and sleeping. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing, I sure as hell could use a new mattress. I kid you not. I got a twin mattress that's tearing itself apart. Literally. Held up by duct tape, literally. Bent wiring. Plenty of pads. I gotta get another one. If I can just hold out until next next term or at least till next month, maybe. Maybe if I've got a hundred or two hundred to spare, I can give me a new set, hopefully. Then I could just um, have a better back in the morning without her trying to kill me this morning. Or me at any time. But if the time comes, I don't think the mattress is going to matter much. Even taking care of it the last days of a dog is takes a hell of a lot of time, energy, and stress levels are increasing. On a brighter side, I think tomorrow I got an appointment. That's good. I can deal with that one. I can deal with that one. But for right now, so what I'm doing is taking care of what I need to take care of right now. Yeah, I've heard all the damn political... I'm, I'm, I'm catching up on all the political claptrap they're talking about Trump and his old situation there. I'm more concerned about the local nature's uh, uh, situations that's happening out here in the Southland. Besides the fire situation happening, we had a small earthquake and aftershock of a 3.6 happening, and I'm more concerned about that. I wasn't keeping up with the Emmys last night. I was keeping up on a on a binge watching of Hawaii Five O, not the old series from the sixties. I was talking about the ones for this century, the century here. So I was watching that. I'm not much into the awards shows, but I was also trying to stay away from the political crap, concerning about the newest nut job out there who wanted to take a swipe, tried to take a swipe, and didn't take a swipe. But at least he's in custody and he's arraigned. So now there's going to be hearings about this schmuck. Now for the other guy, he's going to go through trial for the first one. Or they're still going through the uh, um, investigations for the first assassination attempt on the old gas bag. But that guy's already dead. He's not taken into custody. So he's... I don't know what they're going to do for that one. But this guy, they're, the newest guy, yeah, they're going to do him. Apparently there was a reporting of his of his family scratching their heads. So, well, we didn't know that and expect that. I'm like, give me a break, kids. Come on. Try again. Honestly, he had an AR-15. Does the state of Hawaii allow AR-15s? And he had a he had a scope on it. So what what was being reported by the press, but also by Secret Service. He was going to do a job outside of a fence line, lined up, and if it wasn't for an alert agent out there who saw the muzzle, well, we would have no GOP candidate. But now we got a more rallied up candidate. Now it's going to be going on fire and brimstone at this point. 
and not to mention every other damn candidate out there. But I can also point the finger if I'm going to on them and say to them, you guys want your fucking... Your... I know I can say it on my own channel. I know I can say that kind of language over here. But you wanted that damn gun, gun so much. Guess what? Welcome to Lone Wolf. What are you going to do about it? We need more guns! We need more law enforcement! We want more authoritative control. Not get, take away the damn tools. No, because you already got the people going to be using the damn tools. But they're all sick. You know, it opens up a debate on this damn thing. These guys don't even look at the bit. They don't even understand why I'm saying these things on my channel. I wish they could have. So I wouldn't logs on this one because I'll be arguing with them on this one. Because I would tell these poor schmucks and schmuckets about what your decisions are costing us one way or another. You want to find out about the sick people out there. Well, you're going to have to moderate or get rid of the HIPAA law. And the Democrats ain't going to go for it. We're talking about health care privacy here. Why? Let's open up that Pandora's box. Okay. Pandora's box. Let's go for the uh, lesson of Greek mythology, shall we? Google search on this one. Go to either Britannica.com or go to Greek Myths Greek Mythology.com. Let's go to the Greek, shall we? Okay, here we go. It starts off saying the myth of Pandora's box is considered one of the most descriptive myths of human behavior in Greek mythology. Ancient Greeks used this myth not only to instruct themselves about the weaknesses of humans, but also to explain several misfortunes of the human race. Now, Pandora was the first woman on the earth, according to the Greek myth. Created by the gods, each one of them gave her a gift. Thus, her name in Greek means the one who bears all gifts. Pandora was created as a punishment to all mankind. Zeus wanted to punish people because Prometheus stole fire to give it to them. Her gifts were beautiful, beautifully evil. This is according to the article I'm reading here. According to Hesiod, Hephaestus created her from clay, shaping her perfectly. Aphrodite gave her femininity and Athena taught her crafts. Hermes was ordered by Zeus to teach her to be deceitful, stubborn, and curious. Hmm. Are they describing traits of what they thought Greek women were supposed to be, I wonder? The box. Pandora was given a box or a jar called Pythos in Greek. Gods told her the box contained special gifts from them, but she was not allowed to open the box ever. Then Hermes took her to Hephaestus, no, no, Epimetheus, brother to Prometheus, to be his wife. Prometheus had advised Epimetheus not to accept anything from the gods. But he saw Pandora and was astonished by her beauty. Thus, he accepted her right away. Whoops. I'm still reading the article here. Pandora was trying to tame her curiosity, but at the end she could not hold herself anymore. She opened the box, and all the illnesses and hardships that the gods have hidden in the box came out. She was scared because she saw all the evil spirits coming out and tried to close the box as fast as possible, leaving hope inside. Well, I'm paraphrasing now. Uh, but according to Hesiod, get back to the article, Indeed stayed inside because that was Zeus's, Zeus's will. He wanted to let people suffer in order to understand that they should not disobey their gods. Pandora was the right person to do it because she was curious enough, but not malicious. 
The myth of Bandora's box has been fascinating people ever since, catching the imagination of countless artists who created frescoes, mosaics, and sculptures depicting Pandora and the mythological elements. The myth itself, through, though appears in many different versions, the most distinctive difference is that in some myths, hope does come out. The main purpose of the myth of the Pandora, though it is to address the question of why evil exists in the world. The birth of Pandora was represented on the pedestal of the statue of Athena, situated in the Parthenon on the Acropolis in Athens. Nice, short article there to tell you. Basically, she was sculpted from the gods and created to be a pain in the ass, and she did her job. But we still blame her because what the gods wanted in the first place. They wanted to punish human beings, but they created a scapegoat. And blame her for the stuff. Kind of reminds me of some people, you know, or some types of people. But we're dealing with that, aren't we? In that instance, we cannot accept personal responsibility, transparency, or be responsible because we're blaming everybody else for all the crap happening. Even though we got a part in the damn thing in the first place. I keep saying Pandora's box because any and everything that came out that was totally screwed up, we reap. And if hope is still in and by the way, that's clouds going through the clouding up out there. We're still getting some natural light coming through the windows over here, so don't be freaked. But if you happen to see anything crawling around, bug war still goes on in this place. Tiny to large. So don't be freaked. I hate dealing with this. I'm getting back to my ranting and raving concerning about the Pandora's box and everything else happening at this point. It's what we're dealing with in, in the world right now. But we don't take it personally. I mean, we don't hold ourselves accountable or responsible or be transparent. We have to keep blaming everybody. The stuff happens, I blame it on Pandora's box because nobody takes responsibility. And the Pandora's box came from the gods. Much like the crap we're seeing right now in our political nightmare into the theological and everything else. The videos I've been making, I'm trying to demonstrate responsibility, accountability, and transparency at this point. But we want, don't want to do it. We blame the other guy. It's like a bully coming up to a victim, beating the crap out of him. Okay, let's make this a schoolyard bully, okay? He sees a kid he's already been tormenting like crazy. He smiles, and he's got his gang around him. And he's beating the kid up because he's blaming the kid for it all. Even though the bully's doing the action. The bully doesn't want to do anything about it. Problem is, this particular bully doesn't care. He's lost lack of empathy, um, feelings for humanity, or being human. No, he just wants to see the pain all the time because that's how that's his world, his pain. So he must deliver that to the people. That's right. He's performing the act that the gods that would chose him to do, and he would be doing it willingly because he gets a thrill off the damn thing. He and his damn ego. Bruised ego or bruised personality somewhere in them. Now, in the psychological circles, we're creating another Frankenstein here. If I'm going to look at it in the recovery circles at this point, we are creating our own Frankensteins and our own and our own monsters. We just don't realize it or don't care to realize it until it's too late, and then all hell breaks loose. But this is what we're dealing. We're dealing with all hell breaking loose right now, aren't we? The shooter that took a shot at Trump yesterday, he knew what he was doing. He took a weapon. I don't know what hell, how he got it past security in the first place. He probably got the weapon when he landed. Wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put it past the guy. There's no way in hell they're going to be getting the weapon on board a craft and coming back off the craft. He would have to get it in uh, Florida. And he took a shot at the president, uh, the former gas bag anyway. And now we got this going on, and we got the politicians screaming and yelling our heads off again. 
And now we're going to have uh, old gas bag taking as much political clout and candy as he can from from people left and right. So I'm going to turn on the news. KTLA. Oh, local stuff happening here. Sorry, computer issues. Okay. That was enough job. And that was a snippet of Ralph that you just heard from 2022. Now, President Biden also commenting on this latest incident today. Take a listen. Thank God. Everything's okay. I think we got a full report so far. We're down there tonight. One thing I want to make clear the service needs more help. And I think Congress should respond to their needs and say, in fact, we need more service. Former President Trump posted on X saying, quote, I would like to thank everyone for your concern and well wishes. It was certainly an interesting day. Most importantly, I want to thank the U.S. Secret Service Sheriff Rick Bradshaw and his office of brave and dedicated patriots and all of law enforcement for the incredible job done today at Trump International in keeping me as a 45th president of the U.S. and the Republican nominee in the upcoming presidential election safe. Trump went on to say the job was absolutely outstanding and said, I am a proud, I am very proud, rather, to be an American. <laughs> now, Trump is blaming the president and vice president Kamala Harris. He told Fox News that their rhetoric caused him to be shot at. Live in New Center, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Right, Never fails. Papers are seen unfolding in North Hollywood this morning. Officers. That never failed. He would take any kind of instant, um, any kind of situation into a political situation he's got. Including his vice president doing the same thing. Something made up, and then everything else is gone all in a hand basket. As for the Venezuelan gangs coming out, yeah, I've seen some of the conservative papers talking about it. On a constant basis, I don't, I don't trust it. I don't believe it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow that to change anything else I know about them. Invading the country like it is, in different house spots. I don't know. I got too many things I'm worrying about that's happening right now as it is. Even for the things out of my out of my hands and out of my control, I'm worried more worried about geological movement happening in a 
in a peninsula of, off of California. It's going to be affecting a lot of communities out there. I'm worried about people's civil rights being violated. Just a few other things I'm just trying to get myself concerned wrapped around besides schoolwork or learning about women in, in history. Does Pandora be part of that or is it the actual physical women? I think it was the actual physical women in my class that we're still studying about. And not fict fictional uh, ladies. Damn, that's one we could have talked about for a great deal. Okay, that being said, I'm going to end off here.